What's up guys and welcome back to another top 10 video I thought I'd make. I mentioned in the last one the top 10 shinies from generation 7. I might do the opposite way around, the top 10 worst shinies to see which ones just quite don't, you know, they don't hit the right mark, they don't get the bar, etc. Uh, so I thought I'd do a similar thing here. I did put a, uh, a form, Google form, to you know allow you guys to vote. So I took some of those answers and compiled them together as well as along with my own opinions uh, to see what, you know, the, what ones aren't, aren't really there. So we'll jump in and, and get on with this and, and see exactly what we don't like. Uh, number 10, first up, is Greedon. Now, Squovit also goes along in the same sort of vein as this because they're very similar shinies, but you can see Greedon here just becomes a bit paler, I suppose. It's a bit pinker in colour, but it's mostly just getting paler. It loses the dark brown for like a auburn brown sort of thing, an autumn brown. Uh, and its main body colour, yeah, becomes like a pale brown. Um, it's not the worst shiny, but it is... A bit boring I suppose you know it doesn't really do much it just gets a bit a bit of a different color you know just a bit of a different color so not too amazing there then at number nine we have sad boy here Corsola um, Galarian Corsola of course who you can see in his shiny form goes from being white and gray to just gray and gray so again similar it's, it's not the most exciting shiny at all uh, he didn't he could have gone like pink or something he could have gone light blue like his um, standard Corsola's shiny form uh, but no he just got grey um, which sort of fits in with the whole theme around uh, Galarian Corsola and the corals dying out and so on and so forth but in terms of a shiny it's just a bit boring. Then at number 8 we have Copper Arja here uh, and also to get to a Copper Arja's G-Max form and you can see he just changes colour slightly you know he goes from a I guess dark blue uh, and orange to a dark green and orange However, I think my issue with this shiny is, if you were to just show me the shiny, I couldn't tell you whether that was normal corporate or you know, or not. Which, you know, if you just show them to me separately and you said which ones are shiny and which ones not, I might not be able to tell you the difference. And I think generally a shiny should be a bit more standing out. Yeah, it should stand out a bit more, um, at least from what its normal form is, if that makes any sense, you know. So. Uh, yeah, this one's a bit off for me. It could have gone like purple or something, and that would have been a super crazy shiny and looked pretty cool, but, uh, you know, it was just there. Then at number seven, we have a very similar one here in terms of Hatterene, who goes from being blue, pink, white to white, pink, white. So the only change here, as well as the pink getting slightly darker, I will give it that, is that it loses the blue from its head. Um... So it's not a very interesting shiny to get, unfortunately. It's similar in its G-Max form. It's the same colouring and same colouring in the shiny. Uh, I just, yeah, I'm not too big a fan of it. I, I prefer it to gain colour, I suppose, or at least switch colour. Maybe it would go from blue and pink to green and pink, you know, or something like that. You know, maybe switch the pink out completely and have it go from blue and pink to pink and blue. You know, something crazy like that. But it, it loses stuff and not I'm not a big fan. Then at number 6 here we have another G-Max possibility, although we're not looking at G-Max this at all, and that is Appleton in its standard form. And you can see here, the only thing that changes really is its helmet. Its helmet changes from red to green, and then its little I don't know, sprouts or whatever you call them, leaves I guess, on top of the apple pie also change colours, or switch colours I should say, rather than change colours. I think, you know, with Apple and Shiny, with Flapple Shiny, um, and obviously with the G-Max forms, it goes from being red to green. Since Appleton is mostly green anyway, I would expect it to, you know, maybe, okay, sure, the helmet turns green, but maybe its body should turn red, you know, and just uh, mix it up a little bit. But, um, doesn't happen, apparently. Doesn't happen, so... Anyway, moving on to number five here, we have, uh, I don't know how much hate I'm going to get for this, but we have Snom. Snom, one of the little new favourite gummy things, etc. It doesn't really do much in its shiny form. It changes from, you know, this white body colour to sort of like a, a, like a pale lime green or pale mint green, I suppose, uh, which is a bit sickly in colour, and it's, it's casing, it's shell, I suppose, whatever you want to call them. Uh, doesn't change at all, it's just the inside and yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the colour. Uh, maybe if it's, I'm thinking maybe if the body stayed white and then the encasing, whatever you might want to call it, changed uh, from like a, a light blue to like a light red or something, that might look cool. But it's just the centre body and uh, yeah, I'm just too big a fan of the colour. 
Moving on to number four, we have Sandaconda. Uh, same goes for the G-Max here, but we're not looking at it. But you can see here, in its shiny form, it goes from being a, a mixture of browns to grey. You know, it, its main tyre, I suppose you want to call that, goes from being a you know, two-colour brown to like a dark grey, or a dark grey, just a light grey, and another sort of shade of grey. And its main body basically stays exactly the same. And it's a similar story in its G-Max form as well. Uh, and again, it's, it's a lack of colour. It's losing colour, I suppose you could say. It can look good in some cases, but in this one it just it doesn't really do much for me. Maybe if the body changed from like it's you know pale cream to like a, a more vibrant colour to balance out with the grey, but it doesn't. It just stays as this cream colour. Um, it just yeah, it's sort of like a very bland shiny in, in that sense. Then at number three we have another favourite I think, uh, and that's Yampa. Uh, and you can see nothing really changes on Yampa. It changes from this light brown to like a light pink I suppose maybe so it, it does look okay but again I think you could probably keep it exactly how it is apart from changing the yellow to a different color imagine like a light blue on that camper rather than a yellow and how good that would look as a shiny it would stand out would be bright it'd be colorful um, but it just sort of again changes shades slightly which for a shiny not quite enough and then for the last one before we get to the grand finale uh, is Senti Scorch at number two and this is mostly here for its G-Max form. Normal Thetagots I'll give you is a decent shiny, you can see. The only thing that changes on its body is the back red casing, sort of like the, the brown red casing. It changes to a cyan blue, which is pretty cool. It'd be nice if its main body changed colour as well. Maybe its circles went from like yellow to... Maybe they switch colour, so maybe the main body is yellow and the circles are red and so on. But they don't. Uh, but that's fine, it's an okay shiny. However, when it becomes G-Max, it loses its back casing from its design, which means it also loses the cyan blue from its design, which means the only thing that is different on G-Max and Scorch are the legs, and then these two pincers at the top of its head as well. This is the only difference. Everything else is exactly the same, it's just the little blue legs, uh, which makes for a pretty underwhelming shiny. Now, if the casing was on its back, you could have the cyan casing, it would still be there, that would work. Uh, or if you change the red colouring and the yellow colouring to swap them over and so on, it would also work, but the way it is at the moment, it's just the legs, and that's not quite enough for me. And before we move on to the number one worst shiny, in my opinion, in Generation 7, at least the new Pokemon, uh, we have some honourable mentions. So these are mostly evolutions of ones we looked at. So for example, first up we have Sizzlypede, which is, again, similar to Senti Scorch, only changes the back from this red, dark, brown colour to like a cyan, which I think is worse on Sizzlypede because you can't see his back as much, and the rest is identical. Similarly, we also have Frosmoff here, who goes from like having a like a blue sh blue hue of colour to like a, a green colour, um, which is okay. But I feel like you could have again done more, maybe a heavier shade uh, to actually you know, change it a bit more. Um, but it's not as bad as Snob, at least. Then finally, we have two we haven't actually looked at at all, and that is Mr. Mime and Mr. Rhyme. Two obviously the Galarian form of a mime, and then the new evolution for it. Now, I'm not putting these on the list for say, but I know many people would put them on the list, and the reason for that is because they lose colour, as I've spoken about many times. Hey, you know, you can see Mr. Rhyme and both of them here go from having these lighter blues to having a dark blue, or like a grey colour, basically. But the reason I'm not putting these on the list is because they are both a reference. So, Mr. Rhyme is the comedian Pokemon, so it's a reference back to 1900 videos where they were in black and white, and you had comedians and, and so on and so forth performing silent comedy. Uh, in black and white, and yeah, I think it's a good reference there. So I like when Ashani has a reference, so that sort of it pulls it back a bit for me, just a bit there. But what is the shiny I think is the worst from the new generated ones, the new generated, newly added ones? Uh, it's gonna be Galarian Farfetched, and here he is. Which one do you think is the shiny one? Neither of them, because they're both the normal one. Here's a shiny one. Yeah, can't see any difference, can you? It's basically exactly the same. The only way you're going to know it is by looking really hard or by finding the shine. Um, the leak could change colour, change the leak's colour, make it green into like, I mean, okay, it wouldn't make any sense because it's a leak. Uh, make it green to like blue or something. Oh, or change the actual colour of his beacon, you know, legs from yellow to orange. Nope, they're exactly the same. It's just literally the white chest to like a light cream chest and then the dark brown fur, fur feathers uh, it's like a light brown feathers which yeah, you can't really tell unless you're looking for it 
that's my number one worst shiny from the new new set. Um, let me know down below in the comment section whether you agree with me. Do you have one on the list that you put higher or lower? Is there one on the list I didn't cover at all that you think should be on there? Let me know in the comment section and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye my friends.